what's going on you guys here uh here we are again number six okay and this one i think we should be able to get uh, a couple more questions on there and i thought i would add some sound to this right now so i went to the sound area okay and i clicked on sounds okay and then i tapped on the speaker here and you'll see that i added a sound called connect and disconnect they're in the library here. You you don't have to add those. You can add sound. You cannot add sound. You could add different sound. You could record. You could upload a sound you already have. You could record your own sound. Okay. Possibilities are endless here. So let's go. And I added those two sounds. So I thought that I would play a sound when the block starts its way going. And then play a sound on the way out. Okay, in this case, we want to use the start sound block. We don't want to use the until done because that means nothing under this block would run until the sound is completed. We want the script to run while the sound is playing. So we'll use start sound, disconnect. I'm going to change it to connect or whatever you chose. And I'm going to put it right here. Okay, it just needs to be before this glide. It can be here, but I really wanted to make sure that that question chosen is the first thing that happens that state changes okay so let's see what it sounds like yeah that's all right and then when we put it back down here when we switch to the icon why don't we play or start sound disconnect when we put it back okay so see what this is it's just above this glide we want it to happen while it's gliding okay it has to be first if it goes after the glide the sound is going to play when the glide is done Okay, if we want to make sure that this is before the glide back home, let's see. Looks good. Space, space. Yeah, all right. So we can add some sound to that. You could even record sound of the question. You could read the question and have the program read the question for you. Yeah, that'd be an interesting twist. So this is done. All right, your question blocks are all set. You're ready to go. So let's duplicate question one. Okay, I right click and I hit duplicate. You'll see that it's nicely named question two. Okay, that's why we named them with the number on the end. So it'll automatically change for you. And let's just change the code a little bit. Okay, the code's exactly the same. Okay, all you need to do is change the home here under the green flag and then change where it goes back home. Because right now they're both on top of each other. So we need to change this. So I'm gonna make four questions in this project so i'm going to just go 145 74 and we'll put this back to 145 74. there we go okay one two uh it's pretty good you see it pulls the sounds okay so since we set up that one question block everything else is good just notice that your costumes has the same question so i want this to still be worth 100 points Okay, let's go to my questions. So zoom out. Remember we left this on vector? That's why it was a nice trick at the beginning because now I can just tap on the text and I can type a question and say, what team did Tom Brady sign with? Okay, and then I can just go down here to answer. And I can use my text tool again, and I can write Tampa Bay. Okay. So let's see what that looks like now. We should have two questions in our project. Question one is, what's the capital of Massachusetts? Boston. Goes back and goes away. What team did Tom Brady sound with? Press space. Oh, yeah. Issue. Issue there. Good glitch. Okay, so when we come here, we can just use our text tool. And what we can do is actually highlight, and you guys can copy, use Control C. Then you can come down here and text tool and use Control V to paste. Okay, so those will be the only adjustments that you'd need to make as you add your question blocks. Okay, so keep changing them up. See how many you can make. Maybe a six question quiz will be good. And I'll be back with part seven.